and now we will construct the simplex table for that first make a structure like this and then in the first column we will write CB CB stands for the cost of basic in the next column that is XB we will write the basic variables which is given here XB equals to basic variables so our basic variables are Y and Z so they are written here in the XB column in the next column that is small b column we will write the right hand side values so right hand side values are 2 and 5 they are written here and next to that in all the columns we will write all our variables from our objective function so from objective function or from the matrix form the variables are x y z p and q so they are written here x y z p and q and below that in row 1 we will write the row 1 values from matrix and in below that in row 2 we will write the row 2 values from the matrix so which is given here the row 1 and row 2 are taken from the matrix form and now in the CJ row we will write the coefficients of the objective function MACJ star it is written here CJ is the coefficients of the objective function which is MACJ star so the coefficients are minus 4, minus 7, minus 2, 0 and 0 they are written here minus 4, minus 7, minus 2, 0 and 0 in the CJ row and now we will put the value in the CB column CB stands for cost of basic so our basic variables are Y and Z and above Y the value in C0 is minus 7. So that minus 7 is written next to this y. And for this z, the value above z is minus 2. This minus 2 is written here. So now the simplest table is formed. Let's do the calculation. We have to calculate the zj minus cj values. So the ZJ minus CJ value for X is given by 1 into minus 7 that is minus 7 plus 2 into minus 2 that is minus 4. So minus 7 plus minus 4 is minus 11 minus this number. So minus 11 minus of minus 4 minus 11 plus 4 that is equals to minus 7. This is written here. Similarly zj minus cj value for y is given by this number into this number that is 1 into minus 7 is minus 7 plus this number into this number that is 0 into minus 2 0 minus this number above so minus 7 minus of minus 7 is 0 written here next zj minus cj for z is given by this number into this number so that is 0 into minus 7 0 plus this number into this number so that is 1 into minus 2 is minus 2 minus this number above so minus 2 minus of minus 2 is equals to 0 written here similarly zj minus cj for p is given by this number into this number so that is minus 1 into minus 7 is plus 7 plus this number into this number so that is 0 into minus 2 is 0 minus this number above so that is plus 7 written here and finally for Q it will be this number into this number so that is 0 into minus 7 is 0 plus this number into this number so that is minus 1 into minus 2 is plus 2 minus this number above so plus 2 is written here in our next step we will examine all the values in zj minus c0 and if all the values in zj minus c0 are 0 or greater than 0 then our present solution is optimal but if any of the number in zj minus c0 is negative then our present solution is not optimal and 
we have to form another simplex table and do the same calculation again. So since this value for x is not greater than or equals to 0, so the variable x is not optimized. So there is some scope for optimization for the variable x. So basically we will look for the most negative number in zj minus c0 and we will give an upward arrow next to this most negative number. So our most negative number is minus 7 and we have written an upward arrow next to this minus 7 and the corresponding variable is x. So this variable x is our entering basic variable. So it is written here x is entering variable. Next we have to find out the exiting basic variable. For that we have to find out the mean ratio. Mean ratio is given by b divided by ai. So we have to divide all the numbers in b column with the respective numbers in the entering variable column. So our entering variable is x column. So we will divide all the numbers in b by corresponding numbers in x column. So 2 divided by 1 is 2 written here and 5 divided by 2 is 5 by 2 written here. In our next step we will look for the smallest number in mean ratio column. So the smallest number in between 2 and 5 by 2 is 2. So we will write an exiting arrow next to this number and the corresponding variable is y. So y will be our exiting basic variable. So y is the exiting variable, x is the entering variable and 1 is the pivot element. Pivot element is the element which is at the intersection of the exiting and the entering variables. So now we will construct another simplex table with some constraint. Constraint number 1. The pivot element must be equals to 1. If it is not, then divide the pivot element by its value and divide all the numbers in that row by the value of the pivot element. So luckily our pivot element is 1. So we don't have to do the division operation. We can simply write this row 1 as it is in our next simplex table or our table number 2. This is table number 1 and this is table number 2. Constraint number 2. All the numbers above and below the pivot element must be equals to 0. So the number below the pivot element is right now 2. We have to make it 0. So after the pivot element becoming 1, we can divide the pivot element or multiply the pivot element with the value of this element and subtract the, that value from this element to get the 0. For example, the pivot element is right now 1 and the value below pivot is 2. So what you can do? We can multiply the pivot element by 2 and subtract that from the this value. And we have to do the same operation with all the numbers in this row. So let's do it. 1 into 2 is 2, subtracted from 2 is 0, written here in the next simplex table. And 1 into 2 is 2, subtracted from this 0 is minus 2, written here. 0 into 2 is 0, subtracted from this 1 is 1, written here. Minus 1 into 2 is minus 2, subtracted from this 0 is plus 2, written here. 0 into 2 is 0, subtracted from minus 1 is minus 1, written here. And finally, 2 into 2 is 4, subtracted from 5 is 1, written here. In our next step, we have to write the updated basic variable. So the basic variable was previously y, which is replaced by x in the next simplex table. And the value above x is minus 4 which is written here and the basic variable z and corresponding cv value remains the same in both the tables. The shortcut technique is 
In my previous videos uh, for simplex resolution, in each step I constructed a separate table from the scratch. But here I didn't construct a separate table. I just extended the lines and that automatically forms our next table. And what is the benefit? The benefit is that we don't have to write the mean ratio and CJ values for the next table. The CJ values and other variables are same for both the tables. So that saves a little time for us. And again, we have to do the ZJ minus CJ calculation for the second simplex table. So let's do it. So for variable X, it will be this number into this number plus this number into this number minus this number above which is equals to 0 written here. So by the same process which we followed in simplex table 1, you can easily obtain the simplex table 2. Our next step, after completing calculating all the ZJ minus CJ values for simplex table 2, again we will examine all the values in ZJ minus CJ row and check whether we have any negative value in that or not. So since all the values in ZJ minus C0 in simplex table 2 are positive, our present solution is optimal and you can stop the calculation. And our optimal solution is obtained from the XB and B column. So in XB column, the variable X is present. So the value for X is 2 from the B column and in XB the variable Z is present the value for Z is 1 given from the B column and the variables P, Q and Y are not present in the final simplex table that is table number 2 so the values for them will be equals to 0 so the optimum solution is given by X equals to 2 Y equals to 0 and Z equals to 1 which is obtained from the final simplex table and now we'll put the optimum values in our objective function matj star as we did earlier in this case by putting the values we get minus 4 into x that is minus 4 into 2 minus 7 into y that is minus 7 into 0 and minus 2 into z that is minus 2 into 1 so by adding all the values we get matj star equals to minus 10 and we can see we have reduced the MACJ value from minus 24 to minus 10. But according to our question, we have to find out the value of mean Z. Our original question was of minimization type. So we know mean Z equals to minus of MACJ star. So the MACJ star value is minus 10. So mean Z value can be given by minus of minus 10 that's equals to plus 10 so basically we have reduced the objective function value from 24 to 10 by the simplex method so we can say the optimum value for z will be plus 10 for x equals to 2 y equals to 0 and z equals to 1 this is our objective solution or optimal solution so that's it for now. How was the video? Let me know in the comments below. I will upload more videos for you. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. By subscribing, you can stay connected with me and get regular updates from me. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then, stay connected by subscribing.